Okay guys, so now let's talk about stocks that pay dividends in lumps. So far we've been talking about stocks that pay continuous dividend, but now we're going to shift our attention to stocks that pay dividends at certain points in time. Okay, so let's assume that T0 is less than T1, is less than T2, is less than Tn, less than Tn plus 1. Okay, Tn plus 1 is equal to T, T0 is equal to 0. Okay, so for all Tj's where J basically ranges from 1 to N, these are basically dividend, uh, these are the dates when we, we get a dividend, okay? So these Tj's, so T1, T2 till Tn basically are dividend dates when the dividend is paid out. T0 and Tn plus 1 are not dividend dates, okay? So we don't get any dividend at T0 and Tn plus 1, okay? And how much dividend do we get at each of these TJs? So, well, the dividend that's paid out at all of these TJs, dividend amount is equal to AJ, which is the rate of dividend, multiplied by the value of the stock just before the dividend is paid out. So, at each TJ, just before the dividend is paid out, the stock is trading at S of TJ minus. So, this denotes the value of the stock just before the dividend is paid out at TJ, okay? So that's the value of the stock multiplied by the rate of dividend. That's what we're going to get as a dividend amount. And here AJ basically is a F TJ measurable random variable, okay? So AJ basically is F TJ measurable. Now we know that when a, when a stock pays a dividend, the value of the stock basically goes down by the dividend amount. Okay, so what is the value of the stock after the dividend is paid? So the value of the stock at TJ, TJ is when the dividend actually gets paid out, will be the value of the stock just before the dividend gets paid out, which is basically S of TJ minus. This is the value of the stock uh, just before the dividend is paid out. And this will drop by the dividend amount and dividend amount is given right here. S of TJ minus. Okay, so this is equal to 1 minus AJ S of TJ minus. This is the amount, this is the value of the stock after the dividend is paid out. Okay, so just before the dividend is paid out, stock is trading here. And we, we get this much amount of dividend from the stock. So the stock will drop by that amount and the stock would be trading at S of TJ equals to this. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, if this is T0, T1, T2, Tn, Tn plus 1, in between the dividend dates, okay, we're going to assume that the stock follows a geometric Brownian motion. Okay, so like before, ds of t is equal to alpha t, st, dt, plus sigma t st dt this is for tj less than equal to t less than tj plus 1 okay and here basically j ranges from 0 to n okay so between the dividend paying dates the stock basically follows a generalized geometric Brownian motion, which is the equation given right here. This geometric Brownian motion together with this equation, one and two, basically gives us the full dynamics of what the stock process is. Okay, so in between uh, dividend paying dates, the stock is going to be following a geometric Brownian motion. At the dividend date, the stock would be trading at, at this level. Okay, and together these basically give us the dynamics for the stock process. Now what we're going to do is, so this basically is how the stock actually behaves. Now let's construct a portfolio like we've been doing so far. And the portfolio is going to invest money in stock and money market accounts. 